Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess. And during the game, I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with this game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with this game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces. I'll play the Karukan defense, which starts with c6 fought by d5. Open can take, proceed, or develop the knight. Develops the knight here. Now if I take, uh, the pawn comes forward and open gets a good big center. So I'll play bishop instead, preventing him to play uh, e4. So now probably I'll see h3 coming. Yep. I'll bring back the bishop, still lying the diagonal, preventing him to play this. So we have opened up his pawn structure at least with all this. And I see a free pawn. Because now this doesn't work. He doesn't have a bishop taking this pawn. Uh, pawn forward, knight. Knight connecting both of them. That is what the ideal plan is. I develop the bishop now. Uh, opponent has lost control of b4 already by playing at a4. Otherwise, a3 could have stopped me from preventing, prevent, uh, pinning this knight. Now I can, so I'll just try to do the same. I think opponent will cast him now, and I can take on the knight if required, or I can let that be and develop my other knight. So I develop the knight instead, maybe then trying to exchange knights in some point of time. He's attacking the bishop. If he does take, that's good for me only. So I benefit from it. No harm about it. I can develop the other knight as well. Just trying to connect both my knights as well. Attacking this as well. Oh, he took the pawn instead. Hmm, that was nice. I missed that. That he can take the pawn too. Okay, I'll castle now. Uh, this is prevented by a bishop. So no, nothing to be bothered about. Maybe I can get my knight and exchange this. Uh, pressure on the bishop. Pawn forward. Saves everything for now. This bishop is nicely eyeing basically b b1 in future. Okay, now I can get a pawn extra, I think. Uh, I'll take this. Maybe open takes with the queen. Or the pawn, let's see, because then we can take on this next uh, with the bishop or the knight. Okay, so it takes with the pawn so that opponent can also take this pawn, uh, which is okay. I'll take with bishop maybe, trying to add this bishop next. Or maybe play bishop here and then I can take on the knight. Either of them is possible. Even I can take on the bishop, just trying to spoil his defender there because um, these two are the defenders of the king side. And then maybe hop in with the knight. Pawn forward is also fine, but he gets to take with the queen eventually. So I lose. I think it takes the pawn. Yep, it does. Um, I have this move pawn forward, which is attacking the queen, but the opponent would probably see it. Uh, I have this now. And it makes more sense to me somehow. Because I'm eyeing a couple of pieces and both can be defended, I doubt. Yes, he might take with the bishop, but then also have connected knights and queen protecting it. So I've got two defenders. I think that was the right move there. Uh, this doesn't do much over there, at least for now. I can try and kick away or because this pawn has to be saved somehow. Okay, uh, what if I play my queen here? Asking for queen exchange. He cannot take the rook, he cannot take the pawn. Can take the pawn maybe. But this is the best move. 
takes, takes, and then bishop takes. So I lose a pawn, but we exchange queens off the board. I had this knight move as well, though. Um, yeah, I'll take. Knights are connected, so I don't need to be bothered about that. Um, I can play this move, attacking the knight. If he tries to take my knight, I'll take his knight. I'll keep his bishop there. But he'll have a bishop pair then, which can be annoying. So I'll take on the bishop. Don't leave bishop pairs with the opponent. And then just align the rooks and grab one of the pawns. That should be helpful. Now if I take... I don't want him to be alive with the bishop pair, as I said. Now that's a cheeky little move by the opponent. So that he can have a discover attack on my uh, rook. That's not going to happen. Maybe I'll go here and attack the pawn. And maybe take the bishop as well, because then the knight would not be guarded. Now it is. Uh, comes in between. This doesn't work actually, so I should not be bothered about that much. It's a good time to just clear my back rank weakness. Maybe. Let's see what the opponent does. I have this rook move as well, which literally just prevents knight from going anywhere and I'm attacking the pawn as well. Yeah, this makes sense. I have to be aware of the folks whenever knight is around, so that is one thing. But apart from that, we are good. Okay, knight comes in here and then here, uh, attacking the bishop. Okay. How if I take this? I can actually. I take, he takes, and I take. I got the pawn. If he doesn't take, I have a check to safeguard my knight. So he does take anyway. I'll take as well. This doesn't work. Um, I'll go back actually. Trying to gobble this pawn. Which he safeguards. But I'll still attack it. Oh, he has a good move. Pawn forward. Oh, but I have also got more. Because this was attacking my rook. But I can take a force. It comes with a check. Mm, so he takes a pawn instead. Okay. Let's play the equalizer. Now the pawn is pinned. Now it's not. And my rook is being attacked. So I need to get back. Try to be on light squares, then dark. Just trying to take control of the last rank as well. Uh, I'll go behind attacking this pawn. Once these two are gone, I can just simply promote from here. Okay, and now both cannot be saved. Let's see what he does. Probably only, yep, I'll take. And I'll plant my rook here or here, here. I'll take this way. Not spoil my pawn structure as well. Oh, that comes with a check. That's nice. Uh, I'll go here. Uh, I can take this as well next. He cannot play forward. I see this as a winning position, but time is a factor. Uh, let's proceed with the pawn. Rook is solid there due to pawn. Okay, Owen goes back. The pawn is guarded, so I'll move the king as well and then probably play pawn forward too. Goes down. Doesn't do much. Okay. I'll plant here maybe. How does he save now? I doubt that this can be saved. He can resign. I'll take. I'll go up. I'll go here. 
can take it on some time okay i'll come down just trying to hang on to it and here this is safe for now and i can take and i go up and i go with this pawn next i'll take removing chances of my opponent winning this i'll go up okay time is a factor now uh, can i push pawn forward no i can't and if i move oh that's a draw now ah uh, he played bad at the end does take can't stop from promoting and he'll take next draw uh, that was winning i think for most of the time i just became a bit careless over here at the end let's analyze the game from computer perspective once um, because i thought i had great winning chances start off with d4 i played c6 d5 the caro can defends opponent plays knight c3 i developed the bishop on g4 uh, opponent plays h3 i go back and then g4 i go back on g6 Develops the bishop on g2, uh, bad option I would say, I took on the pawn, he develops a4 next, trying to make sure that I do not play uh, b5, so that's why a4, I play pawn to e6, develops the knight now, I pin the knight, castles, and I go on with my knight on f6, here I miss the that uh, opponent is going to take my pawn, otherwise uh, still it I don't think it could have been saved actually. Does take, I castle, tax my bishop. I just save my bishop with a5. Uh, then I think this was bad move e4 because that lost a pawn on the spot. After takes, takes, he tries to take on the pawn. Uh, I try to attack his knight as well as rook. So he comes down and I took on the rook first. He takes back with the king. Uh, what was the best move here? Rook here. Uh, my problem with rook here was I was thinking, what if he takes the pawn? Oh, that's bad for the opponent because now he cannot save both. And if he attacks mine, I can pin it. And next word, the best move is queen to f3, which is unlikely to be played as well. And if I play rook here, can he move the knight somewhere? I doubt because as soon as he does, I can take on the knight with the queen instead of taking the queen for exchange. So that should be helpful. And is there any other way knight is going to be saved? I don't see it. Because this also, I have this knight as well as I have queen takes. So I'll take the queen. My opponent will have to take the queen back. Uh, I can take on the knight, opponent does take back, and as you see, I've got two rooks against a uh, helpless opponent, he does take, I take back, and now the bishop also cannot be saved. So that's more or less the end of the game. So that was the best move, which I didn't see, but I went for queen exchange rather, by playing queen to b6, opponent takes the pawn, trying to win a pawn there, so I took as well, takes, and then the best move, rook to a6. Then he takes on, I take on the bishop first, right move again, not leaving bishop pair for the opponent. Opponent plays uh, bishop to e2, oh sorry, on a3 there. I play um, rook b8, tries to block my rook's path with knight, and then tries to get the king. I try to get my rook active and then the knight. Uh, and then I saw this right move where I can take extra pawn, so I took and then I take on the knight and then I go back right choice trying to take on the pawn from other side of the board uh, that's what I do opponent tries to attack my rook but doesn't help I go back and then I go behind trying to take other pawns which I eventually do take so here I'm winning 3.3 3.2 so where did it go wrong rook to d5 is also perfect then I started putting my pawn forward, that was also nice, king forward, 
minus five or minus six. Yeah, this was the also the right move. I took on the rope here, it's perfectly fine. Uh, attacking the bishop was wrong, maybe, and then sidestepping. This is also fine. Come down, yes. Okay. And then come forward. Take that. Elastic. Pawn forward. F5. I'm completely winning here. I had to such sidestep my rook instead of taking on the pawn. Because once I sidestep, opponent can promote, yes. I can take. He takes with the king and the king goes down. And then I've got pawns, which are ahead. Ah, okay. That way at least I negotiate the king as well to the other side of the board. Here I take and he still remains up. And then he comes closer. Draw from here on, as you see. Bishop plays nice. Let's draw from actually the point I took on the pawn. I should not have taken the pawn. That was the bad move. I crumbled under pressure there, I, I would say. I was very much confident that these two pawns can be promoted, but uh, I, I had this in my mind that bishop is protecting that, but I thought somewhere I can get in the way. Uh, maybe his king will get in the way of the bishop, and I can safeguard and promote one of these. Maybe exchange one with the bishop, and then get the other one to be promoted, but that did happen in the game. Uh, and this was a dead draw from there on. I just tried to go on, but didn't work, of course. I hope you liked the video. Do let me know your feedback. Uh, and it was a nice game. Uh, keep watching and sharing. Thank you so much for your time. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Take care. Bye-bye.